of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. I would like to welcome you all to this episode of Thunder of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today I would like to speak to you about the best teacher and his name is Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Now let us ask our heavenly Father to pour out his precious blood upon us and to give us his Holy Spirit. So now we offer this time of prayer to our heavenly Father and ask earnestly to give us his spirit. Holy Spirit, you are the helper. Holy Spirit, you are the comforter holy spirit you are the counselor come holy spirit hallelujah 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 thank you holy spirit we worship you lord we glorify you jesus thank you lord hallelujah lord praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah praise you lord abba father we glorify your name we need your spirit is my helper now and forever one who is always by my side the spirit is my helper now and forever one who is always by my side holy spirit he strengthens me when i weak and worn holy spirit takes away the sights of this world he teaches me to love and forgive shows me how to pray and fill me with his word the mysteries of god makes known to me the truth i'm unable to see the wisdom and counsel he gives to me and fills me with power from above the spirit is my helper now and forever one who is always by my side the spirit is my helper now and forever holy spirit one who is always by my side holy spirit is the best teacher the bible teaches the holy spirit will teach you everything and will remind you of all that i have said to you holy spirit come He strengthens me when I weak and worn Takes away from me desires of this world Holy Spirit He teaches me to love and forgive Holy Spirit Shows me how to pray and fill me with the word The mysteries of God He makes known to me The truth I'm unable to see The wisdom and counsel He gives to me fills me with power from above spirit is my helper now and forever one who is always by my side the spirit is my helper now and forever one who is always by my side the one who is always by my side Holy Spirit the one who is always by my side Holy Holy Spirit Hallelujah Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit Praise you Lord Hallelujah. we thank you Lord we glorify you Hallelujah Hallelujah Holy Spirit Thank you Holy Spirit teach us oh teacher Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Holy Spirit Hallelujah 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 Holy Spirit Oh precious spirit come Holy Spirit come Holy Holy you are holy you are holy Hallelujah Hallelujah Holy Spirit Hallelujah 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 Holy Spirit come you are the living waters Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit Holy Spirit let us close our eyes if possible raise our hands to the to heavens and ask our heavenly father 
to give us his spirit we need him holy spirit we need you we need you holy spirit we need you holy spirit come holy spirit fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth hallelujah holy spirit come holy spirit fill our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love oh come holy spirit fill our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love oh you are the living waters come holy spirit again you oh, ask holy, holy spirit to come and fill our hearts come holy spirit come holy spirit fill our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love oh come holy spirit fill our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love mother mary help of christians pray for us all the saints and martyrs pray for us praise the lord praise, praise, praise the lord so there is a beautiful prayer by saint john maria viani o oh god send me thy spirit to teach me what i am and what thou art praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah so let us ask our heavenly father to pour out his spirit upon us abundantly and also let us ask holy spirit to teach us because he is the best teacher jesus has given us a great promise in the gospel of saint john chapter 14 verse 26 but the advocate the holy spirit whom the father will send in my name will teach you everything and remind you of all that i have said to you my dear brothers and sisters jesus says the holy spirit will teach you everything so it's a great fact that the holy spirit can teach us everything especially the mysteries of god the hidden things of heaven the holy spirit can teach us everything Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise, Praise you Jesus. Jesus. I think many of you know, may know that the first written prayer in the Acts of the Apostles is that Abba Father stretch out your right hand to heal and to perform miracles and wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. So that was the first written prayer in the acts of the apostles so we have to pray for more miracles we have to pray for more wonders we have to pray for more healings praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord hallelujah hallelujah and i am very sure that the lord jesus christ is going to heal many of you while you were watching this episode the lord can do that in your life praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord hallelujah 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 and also the lord jesus christ will shower his spirit upon each one of you while you will be hearing the word of god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus so praise you jesus praise you jesus and hallelujah 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 and now i am going to pray for the sick people just for a few seconds please close your eyes and ask the lord jesus christ to stretch out his victorious right hand towards towards you if you have got any sickness please place your hands on those places and ask the lord jesus christ to touch you so i'm going to pray for you in jesus name right now lord jesus i ask you to i ask you to stretch out your right hand and touch touch these people lord please please have mercy upon them touch them and heal them jesus jesus you are the healer everything is possible with you oh lord nothing is impossible for you everything is possible with you lord you have done lots of miracles and wonders lord we believe in your mighty power stretch out your right hand and touch your people lord now 
Sada bara hashia. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters, I think some of you might have heard of Saint Dominic. Mother Mary appeared to him and gave him the rosary. And he has got lots of miraculous gifts. One day he was uh, traveling uh, to Paris. So his relatives, his friends and his disciples were with him. A few of them were with him. So while he was traveling to Paris, he went to a pilgrim center for prayer. And after that prayer, he got a special anointing of the Holy Spirit and he started to recite the rosary. He started to do the divine, divine, prayer, divine prayers. And two German pilgrims, they just saw these beautiful uh, monks praying uh, and these German monk, the German pilgrims wanted to uh, follow them, and they traveled together. But the Germans can understand only their language, and Dominic was not able to speak German. And after a few days of pilgrimage, they sat together for meals. Then Dominic was sad because he was not able to communicate with these German pilgrims. So after four days, he knelt down before the Lord and he asked the Lord for gift of tongues. He asked the Holy Spirit to teach him German. And miraculously it happened. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. So miraculously the Lord, the Holy Spirit gave him this gift. So he began to teach them the mysteries of the Holy Spirit. He began to teach them the Bible. So it happened in the history, not only in the time of the apostles, but in the, in the history of our church, many saints had this, this supernatural gifts of tongues. They preached in uh, their own languages and others heard they in their own their own native languages. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we are going to believe firmly in the words of our Lord Jesus who said, when the Spirit of God comes, when the Holy Spirit comes, he will teach you everything. And not only teach you everything, he will remind you of all things I have said to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. So when we think about the lives of the apostles, Many of them were illiterate, but when they received the Holy Spirit, they went around the world, they preached the word of God with boldness and courage. And because they had this, this power with them, this person was with them. Hallelujah. 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 And I think many of you might have heard of St. John Maria Vianney, who was very poor in studies. So he was sent away from the seminary. Because he failed in Latin exams. In those days, uh, to pass a Latin exam was a must. And what happened? But he was a man of prayer. He knew how to recite the rosary. He knew how to pray to the Lord. So, at last, he was given the permission and the bishop ordained him. After his ordination, he was appointed as a priest in Ars. There, he prayed to the Holy Spirit. He sat down before the Blessed Sacrament and the Lord began to teach him. The Lord began to reveal him beautiful things. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's why I recited the beautiful prayer that this saint recited every day. Once again, I'm going to recite it for you. Oh God, send me thy spirit to teach me what I am and what thou art. And this poor man prayed this prayer to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit began to teach him. And he got this power. And he began to preach the gospel in a very powerful manner. And thousands of people got converted. Hundreds of thousands of people went to him to make their confession. He was a man filled with the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit taught him directly. It is possible 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have to be humble before the Lord. That's why Matthew chapter 11, verse 25 and 26. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was praying to Heavenly Father, Abba Father. This was your wish, that you hidden these things from the wise and revealed them to the infants. So when Jesus said the Holy Spirit will teach you everything, that means we have to be humble before the Lord. We have to become like infants. We have to become like babies. That means we have to surrender ourselves before the Lord and acknowledge that we are weak and he is strong. We need his help. Then he will start to help us in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So in order to be taught by the Holy Spirit, we have to do one thing. So let us hear from the book of wisdom, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. For preserved thoughts separate people from God. And when his power is tested, it exposes the foolish. Because wisdom will not enter a deceitful soul or dwell in a body enslaved to sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that to be taught by the Holy Spirit means to distinguish between good and evil. To distinguish between bad things and good things. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the so Lord. while St. John Maria Vianney was giving a sermon to his, to his people, he said like this. As a watchmaker with his glasses distinguishes the most minute wheels of a watch, so we, with the light of the Holy Ghost, distinguish all the details of our poor life. So when the Holy Spirit comes, he will teach us even the minute things in our lives. He will bring to light those things. Then what happens? We ask pardon for all our minute things. Then the Spirit begins to work in us in a very, very powerful way. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the First letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 2, verses 10 onwards. St. Paul speaks about the teachings of the Spirit. St. Paul says, These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. And again, St. Paul says, Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the spirit that is from God, so that we may understand the gifts bestowed on us by God. And again he says, and we speak of these things in words not taught by human wisdom, but taught by the spirit, interpreting spiritual things to those who are spiritual. So my dear brothers and sisters, it's a great fact that Holy Spirit is the best teacher. And he can teach us everything. So we have to acknowledge that we are just human beings and we do not know many things, not only in this world, but the things of heaven. Then once we acknowledge it, once we ask the Spirit of God to reveal his, his inner mysteries to us, he will do it for us. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. So let us close our eyes. Let us acknowledge our shortcomings. Let us ask our Father in heaven for a fresh outpouring of his spirit. Lord, we need your spirit. Jesus, we need your Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, teach us the mysteries of heaven. Reveal to us, Holy Spirit. We are weak and fragile. We do not know how to pray. We do not know how to act. 
come holy spirit holy spirit help us to read the bible help us to understand the mysteries of heaven come holy spirit come holy spirit now let us praise and worship him hallelujah 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 holy spirit praise you holy spirit thank you holy spirit hallelujah 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 oh teacher come holy spirit you are the teacher holy spirit fill our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love oh come holy spirit come holy spirit fill our hearts and kindle in us the fire of your love mother mary be with us always hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen praise the lord praise the lord verse 11 teach me your way o lord that i may walk in your truth give me an undivided heart that i may revere your name my dear brothers and sisters holy spirit is the teacher now let us ask the lord to teach us his ways together with the psalmist let us pray lord teach me your ways that i may walk in your truth because jesus is the truth and again the psalmist is praying from his heart lord give me an undivided heart that i may revere your name so my dear sisters and brothers now let us give him glory and honor i ask the lord to give us an undivided heart so that we may revere his name hallelujah 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 i will worship your name jesus thank you lord yes lord you are my fortress you are my fortress yes jesus you are my friend in need you are my god and i will worship you with all my heart and i will worship you with all of my heart and i will seek your face all through my life and i will serve you lord with all that i am here i am Here I am O oh Lord here I am O oh Lord Jesus here I am O oh Lord here I am Jesus here I am O oh Lord here I am O oh Lord here I am Now we 
receive his blessing praise him glorify him thank him lord you are the teacher holy spirit you are the teacher teach us your ways we want to walk in your truth hallelujah hallelujah Yeah. 